Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the workflow for how you can take actor core character models and bring them into Blender, complete with body and facial animation. For this example, we're going to start off by using a motion taken from the Social Actions Pack, which offers a wide range of common, casual motions, complete with expressions that allow you to assemble a professional looking scene in no time. You can find the complete pack in the Content Store, or also purchase individual motions in the Actor Core Marketplace. The Social Actions Pack includes 90 Motion Plus motions, which also contain facial expressions, not to mention actor group presets for super quick scene population and a few bonus accessories. Let's demonstrate this workflow by first applying one of the included actor group templates from the pack to our iClone scene. You'll see a couple of randomly assigned actors appear from your library of actor core characters. If we play back, you can note that by default, they don't include any facial animation, so let's add in another actor group and look at how we can do that. You'll see a drop down menu where you can choose one of the randomized presets based on gender tags and actions, and also a checkbox if you want to once again randomize the included actors. Selecting randomized starting frames will ensure that if two actors are by chance assigned the same motion, that they will at least be prevented from mirroring the same moves in tandem. Finally, to get facial expression, be sure to choose repetition as opposed to continuous. You can get more info about these settings by checking out the Getting Started tutorial for actor groups. Hit randomize as many times as you want to see the results. Once you find something that suits your needs, go ahead and play back to see the looped result. You can also apply your own custom motions to any of the actors in your actor group as well. Note that to apply a motion directly to an actor that is part of an actor group, you'll need to toggle it to edit mode in the modify panel first. Once in edit mode, you can modify it and apply motion separately. However, be sure to convert it back to light mode to conserve system resources. You'll also notice that the motion thumbnails will indicate which position is suitable for the characters you're applying the motion to with the solid white dummy. You can certainly edit the positions and the motions themselves as much as you want, but the reference dummies in the thumbnails help you orient the actors to their proper positions relative to the others. Next, let's select our two main actors and export them to FBX, being sure to choose the Blender preset in the Export Options window. Leave embed textures unchecked if you want the option to edit them further in Blender. To import to Blender, first be sure that you have the free Blender Auto Setup add-on installed to make the transfer quick and flawless. Please refer to the Getting Started with CC3 Blender Auto Setup tutorial for more info. With the Auto Setup add-on installed, you can simply click on the Import Character button, choose your FBX, and you'll see both fully rigged characters with materials perfectly assigned along with their animations appear in your Blender project. The Auto Setup add-on also includes a number of scene presets that you can apply to quickly enhance the lighting. Set the frame length in your Blender timeline and play back to see your imported result. As mentioned earlier, you can also find individual actors and motions on the Actor Core Marketplace, so let's take a quick look at that workflow. You can find collections of motions with various themes here and peruse the individual motions included in each. Note that there is a talking icon on the top left of the thumbnail which indicates that it includes facial expression. You can preview the motion on any actor core actor on the site, the green check on the bottom right indicating that it's already part of your library. Click download and select the model you want to include in your FBX. Again, since we're using auto setup, ensure embed texture is not enabled. Naturally, we want to have Blender selected as our target application here, and you'll also find a link which will take you to the info page for the auto setup tools. Upon download, you'll get separate folders for your model and the accompanying motion you selected. Back in Blender, if you import your Motion FBX using the Import Character option, your import will include both Rig and Mesh, but not Textures. This import method can be useful for focusing on Motion Preview. The facial animation is driven by a comprehensive set of morphs, 
and is combined with bone-driven jaw movement. Next, let's use the same process to import the model FBX, which will revert to a T-pose. Enable viewport shading and select the scene lighting preset for a great visual result in two clicks. To apply the motion that we imported to our full model, we can simply ensure it's selected and then switch to the dope sheet and select the action editor. From there, go ahead and choose the motion FBX we imported earlier. Open up the timeline and play back to see it on the textured actor. If we get a close up of the face, you can see how great this resource efficient actor core character can look by utilizing the powerful auto setup tool. The good thing about importing via auto setup is that you can refine the skin materials based on your lighting scenario as well. If you want to further edit the facial animation, you can once again toggle over to the dope sheet and select shape key editor. Once you select the motion FBX, you'll see the keyframes that you can edit. However, that process is for another tutorial. So that's a quick overview of how easy it is to get your actor core characters and motions into Blender for professional quality rendering. This optimized workflow is incredibly flexible and efficient, and is essential if you have a project with crowd requirements. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.